All right, here we go. Conquer and Commander. This is a game featuring my Melek Is It Paragon Dragonstorm deck. Uh, for the complete deck list, go to puremtgo.com and check it out. Conquer and Commander. Uh, today, my uh, opponents are Rith the Awakener. Uh, usually tokens. It could be a lot of different things. This guy actually kind of ducks out pretty early, so we don't really know what he's doing. Uh, Animar, who's uh, piloted by my boy JX Clater, um, can be explosive. Lots of creatures out fast. You'll see Primal Surge from Animar players sometimes. Uh, the Pearl White and Black doesn't bother me. And then Royal Owl playing the Avacyn Angel of Hope deck. Uh, angel theme with a bunch of destruction, so uh, we'll see what he brings. Um, this is my opener. Uh, I'm fine with it. It's got four lands and a fetch land, so it should be good. Let's see what happens. First turn, Birds of Paradise means second turn, Animar. First turn, Lightning Greaves for Avacyn. Uh, Skull Clamp from Rith. There's the second turn, Animar. I end up sacking my stuff and doing nothing. Rith bounces uh, his mountain with Boros Garrison. Okay, so <laughs> on turn three, Animar plays Master Biomancer and does not attack. Master Biomancer is a great card in Animar decks. Avacyn has nothing. I've got a whole lot of nothing. And then Rith quits. So turn f five, I believe. Where's this turn four? Turn four turn this is turn um four he's got blood blood braid elf so blood braid elf cascades into shardless agent who cascades into fauna shaman <laughs> so what else has he got he's got palancron soul of the harvest and then the good thing about those other two guys is that they come in with plus two, plus two counters. And Animar is just going to get bigger too. So, and then he has enough uh, counters on Animar to cast Silvok Replica. So all of a sudden he's got a massive army on turn four. And Animar is a 6-6. Six, six. So he ends up attacking me with Animar and the Master Biomancer and uh, Blood Braid Elf. Uh, I think he's seen my deck at this point, so he kind of knows what I'm capable of. So I go from 38 to 25. Luckily, Avison comes to the rescue. Oh no, she doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> um, and I've got nothing. At this point, I'm basically at his mercy. But what he does decide to do um, is play Rurik Thar. <laughs> so he's in a really good spot right now. Uh, yeah, Rurik Thar. And then he uses Fauna Shaman to get Solemn Simulacrum for free. And now this time he decides to attack the Avacyn player for a whole bunch and drop her to 16. For him, I mean. And Avacyn is able to play Austere Command. So he drops down to 7 because of Rurik Thar and wipes the board. Meanwhile, like, you know, th this is this is a pretty good board state. <laughs> um, thank goodness, because Animar was going to get out of control. Honestly, that's the main reason I recorded this game, <laughs> is because of that turn. <laughs> Alright, so now I have a bunch of land. I've got Magus of the Future, revealing Seething Song from the top. Animar comes back out to play. Linvala comes out. And Warren Powerstone. And uh, I forget that Lin what Linvala does, honestly. And I, I feel like, okay, 
you know, I've got Seething Song here. And I've got Niv Mizzet. So might as well cast him. And I have enough mana left over to do one more point of damage. <laughs> and I was gonna kill Animar, but I don't I can't use the activated ability. So instead I have to sit back and do nothing. Oh no, I attack Animar. So Animar plays Dalmry Rod. And he reveals Bulgardon Hellkite and puts it in his hand. And then puts Lightning Greaves on Animar. Dalmry Rod uh, is an interesting card in a creature heavy deck, so definitely worth looking at and playing. Admonition Angel. Um, that's a great card with Avison, honestly. And he exiles Domri. And attacks the Animar player. I've got Mind's Desire on the top of my library, but I can't really do anything with it right now. I play my Solemn Simulacrum. And then the Scroll Rack was on top of my library. And then I use these two guys to attack the Animar player. I draw a card. Arbor Elf from Animar gets Lightning Greaves on it, but he can't use the <laughs> activated ability. And he attacks the, admin, uh, the Avacyn player with Animar. Avacyn drops to three. And then she plays Sunblast Angel. Boo hoo because that hoses my uh, Niv Mizzet, but that's fine. That kills Animar. And then she attacks the Animar player, dropping him down to 20. And I screw around with my scroll rack a little bit. There's a Hellcat Igniter, but I've only got two artifacts right now. I play Future Sight, and there's Archaeomancer, so I play the Archaeomancer off the top to grab Seething Song again. And I've got really nothing going on right now, so I sit back and wait. And then Al gets bumped. Um, Dead Eye Navigator. And so Dead Eye Navigator is one of those cards that like as soon as it hits you worry, oh my god, what what are they gonna navigate with and bounce and stuff like that. But he doesn't really have anything. Linvala's ga gone now though, so that's good. I mess around with the top again, or the scroll rack again. I right, seething song, and then I snap caster mage to seething song again. And I play Hellkite. Igniter, and I've got enough mana to play one more dragon. Oh, Mana Vault off the top. There's Gilded Lotus. Gilded Lotus off the top. And then Hellkite Charger. Knock him down to 10. And I've got three blockers, and he concedes. So, anyways, uh, again, another beatdown type game. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it.